Montage is like the juxtaposition of shots, right? And the interesting thing about editing, okay, is that film time is essentially shorter than real life time, okay? If you were filming a documentary about my life, okay, let's say you're following me around with a camera and you're filming a documentary about my life. And so you're following me from the moment I get out of bed, right, to the moment where I put my feet in my slippers and I shuffle over to my bathroom and I brush my teeth, right? And then I get dressed and then I change my outfit and I get dressed again and I look for my keys for 30 minutes. And then I walk out to my car and then I get in my car and then I drive to Long Beach, right? And that takes about 45 minutes. So 45 minutes on the road, you're filming the entire time. And then I show up to Long Beach City College. I look for parking for 45 minutes. And then I walk in here and I start teaching, right? So if you were the documentarian of my life, would you show everything that you shot? Would you show the entire sequence of me driving to Long Beach? That would be very boring, right? Okay, so a film, okay, truncates time. It utilizes a technique. All of these things utilize a technique that we call ellipsis, okay? And an ellipsis, at its very uh, core definition, is when you truncate time, right? So if it takes me an hour and a half from the moment that I get up in the morning to come to Long Beach, that sequence in the film version of my life is not gonna take an hour and a half. If you were filming a movie where the character uh, goes to sleep and then wakes up the next day, and the average human being sleeps for about eight hours, would your movie have an eight hour sequence of the character sleeping? No, that makes no sense, right? Just talking about it, we know that it doesn't make any sense, right? Because in a movie, we remove time from actual time. You make things shorter. So a film is a representation of life, but it is a way shorter version of life. Does that make sense? Okay. Uh, an ellipsis truncates time. So you could argue that there is story that takes place in between individual shots of a film, right? In chapter two, we talked about uh, story versus plot, right? And it's a very difficult definition in the book, right? The plot is the explicit moments in a picture. What does that mean? Well, the things that are contained within the shot, all the mise-en-scene and the action, is the plot. Being an editor is like being God of this little universe. You know, being an editor is sort of like being a director. You are directing what people are gonna see next. So, um, at the beginning of class, I likened screenwriting and directing to maybe authoring a textbook, right? And the production designer is like somebody who picks up a highlighter and highlights things in the book. Well, the editor is the person who lays out the images on the page. The editor is the person who lays out the text on the page, determines how many pages there are in the book, cuts out lines that are unnecessary, right? Uh, removes things that are, are repetitive in a book so that it flows from one page to another, okay? The editor is just one person on the film crew, but he has a very, very important job, right? Because depending on how I order the images, the story will change, okay? So uh, I'm gonna pass this around. Don't uh, mess with it, just look at it. <laughs> um, and tell me what you, just pass it around and everybody tell me what they see, okay? So um, shot, scene, and sequence. Everybody understand these terms? Okay, so montage, I'm glad somebody brought this up. Montage is essentially juxtaposition, okay? We're gonna be studying editing from now until the end of this semester, okay? Montage is juxta, juxtaposition. And this is one of my favorite words, okay? Because when you juxtapose images on top of each other, you create new meaning in a movie, okay? And editing can be a very powerful tool. Editing images uh, puts the power in the person who's, edit, who's doing the editing, okay? If I were to show you two images, okay? If I were to show you two images 
that themselves don't carry a whole lot of meaning, but I show those images to you in quick succession, you might associate a meaning between those those two images, okay? Let me give you a visual example, okay? I wanna talk you through this because um, I wanna see if you can get it from the description, okay? Let's say I have a giant photo, a poster photo up here in the front of a male, okay? A male human being, and he's wearing a dark hoodie, like a sweatshirt hoodie, okay? Blank expression on the face, okay? And I show that to you. You might have certain associations based on the mise-en-scene, right? The way the guy looks, the way the guy's dressed, okay? If I were to take that poster photo and flip it around, and on the other side, there is a, uh, a shot of an empty jail cell, and I take the poster away, okay? What associa associations might you apply to those two images in succession? That this man is going to jail, good. What else? Maybe, that it's a mug shot. maybe it's a mug shot, right? Maybe, it's a, maybe this guy is a criminal, right? Now, I didn't say those words to you. I didn't say anything, but you guys arrived at those words on your own. I didn't even show you the image, and, and, and those words made it into your mind, right? So that essentially is the power of editing, right? When you don't show something, you're essentially still showing it, right? And People who edit together documentaries, people who edit together uh, a newsreel, news footage, they have incredible powers of manipulation that they don't even admit, right? If you see your neighborhood on TV, right, and then it cuts from a shot of your neighborhood to a, a close-up of yellow police tape, what is the news channel saying about your neighborhood, right? I saw this a lot when I was a kid, watching TV and seeing a news story about my neighborhood. Right? And you see an image of a block that you recognize walking down before in life, and then it cuts to a close up of police tape. Well, what, what are people going to make? What kind of associations are people going to make about your neighborhood? Dangerous. That is dangerous. That is overrun by, by, by criminals, right? So um, editing is very manipulative, right? Manipulative. And manipulative doesn't necessarily mean a bad thing, okay? Manipulative means that you, you made adjustments to something, right? When you manipulate something, you are arranging something. Okay. Think about a person who works in a flower shop, right? All the flowers are the same, but if the person is gifted with flowers or he has a, has a good eye, he's gonna arrange the flowers in a way that is aesthetically pleasing. Right? Does that sort of resonate, right? I don't know how to arrange flowers. If you were to compare my flower arrangement with the flower arrangement of, of a professional, you could clearly tell the difference.